Hi everyone, this is Kathy Tarchioni from The Dog Connection, and this is Charlie. You see him all the time. <laughs> he likes to be on uh, the camera, but I'm going to let him rest while I tell you this. Uh, I wanted to tell you a personal story that I have. It's, it has to do with what I believe is an indirect form of animal abuse. And it's my personal story. It's not intended to hurt anyone, but I sure hope that you'll be able to help us. Uh, I don't know if you've ever lent any any friends money, but I did, and I have all of my life. Uh, I've been an animal lover for over 50 years. I've dedicated many thousands of dollars in helping dogs out of out of uh, situations where they would be euthanized or where they would be abused or they needed medical care. Through the years, I've realized that when I help someone with money that you're supposed to be able to just give the money and then don't count on it coming back. But I did need the money on this particular time and I made sure that I had it in writing that I would be paid back. There's a lovely couple named Jim and Alicia Bumgardner. They are some really sweet people. They came to my home. They called me mom. Their daughter called me grandma. And we got along very well. In January of 2013, Jim and Alicia came to my home asking me if they could borrow some money because they ran into some financial difficulties like many Americans do. They weren't able to pay their mortgage or the utilities and they hardly could put food on the table. So I agreed to help them out. So from January through November, I did help them out and then unfortunately the money ran out. I even borrowed some money from a friend so that I could help Jim and Alicia. But when the money ran out, then all of a sudden I didn't hear from Alicia and Jim anymore. As a matter of fact, they blocked me on Facebook and uh, they blocked me on social media and they wouldn't return my calls. So unfortunately, when, when a year passed and I realized they weren't going to help me, I went ahead and I did take legal action. I did get a judgment and to this day, I still haven't been able to uh, get the money back. Now, why is that important? Well, for years, I have been giving money to help animals, as I said. And when this money wasn't given back to me, that was scheduled to be used to help animals, I realized that, oh my goodness, I can't help the animals like I used to. So I still got the notices and I saw the dogs that I generally would have helped get the, the medical care they needed and the help that they needed uh, from getting out of the shelter, but I was unable to do it. So when I saw that they weren't helped, I started to have nightmares and I got very concerned. Now I'm a senior, I'm 70 years old, I'm disabled and I'm a widow. I have my Charlie, and I have the dog connection, and I have our fans. I, I'm scared for the other seniors that are maybe going through the same thing. We as dog lovers have a tendency to really trust people, and we give from our heart. And in this case, I gave from my heart, and I'm feeling very upset about it. I know that there's many other seniors that spend a lot of money in helping animals as well. So this is an awareness video to let seniors know and we hope that you pass it around and share it with everyone because we really would like you to know that we are, we're people, we love animals. You might call us crazy, but unfortunately, <laughs> Sometimes that's true when it comes to helping animals. So this, to me, is a form of animal abuse. Because when someone steals from you, and that money was earmarked to be used for saving animals, then what else could you call it? I, I don't have another word for it. Anyway, that's my story. I 
hope that you will help us share the story. We're going to have some follow-up on this as well. And again, Jim, Alicia, this is not a personal, a personal attack towards you. And this is not about collecting the money back. This is about seniors and how they feel when it comes to dog lovers. Uh, to, the, to being to being dog lovers and helping animals. Thanks so much. Bye bye.